In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the GE Tetra Power Strip LED lighting system as a retrofit in a 2x4 foot one sided sign. This sign is going to be refurbished at the shop with the Tetra Power Strip LED system and will also be refaced and painted. Always be sure to read the installation guide before you begin work. And I'm sure you know to disconnect power before servicing or installing any electrical product. If you're going to handle the retrofit on site, I recommend making a trip to the site to survey the materials needed. I also recommend going to the GE Lumination website, www.lumination.com, to use their online material estimator form. Also, be sure to check local building codes where the sign's located. Some local codes are more stringent than the National Electric Code, and you need to comply with all local codes. Color temperature descriptions can be called differently between fluorescent and LEDs. For example, if your sign is designed for cool white fluorescent, you'll want to use our 4100 Kelvin Tetra Power Strip LED system. If your sign is designed for daylight fluorescent, you want Tetra Power Strip LED system with a color temperature of 6500 Kelvin. I've already removed the fluorescent tubes, wires, sockets, and ballasts from the guts of the sign. I've kept the raceways so I have an internal structure to screw the mountings into and to house the primary wire. After you've removed the original fluorescent equipment in the sign, make sure to check for anything that might compromise the integrity of the sign body, such as holes that could result in water getting inside the sign. Fill all holes with the appropriate amount of a rated caulk or sealant. For holes greater than a half inch, use an aluminum or zinc coated steel patch with rivets and sealant. Start by determining the row spacing for your layout. If your Tetra Power Strip modules will be less than 6 inches from the sign face, space your rows 10 inches apart. If the LED system will be 6 inches or more from the face, space your rows 12 inches apart. This sign is 5 inches deep, so I need to space my rows 10 inches apart. Find the position for the center row, then work out from the center at 10 inch or 12 inch increments. That approach will give you even lighting throughout the sign. Mark the row spacing guidelines using a straight edge to ensure the modules are straight and evenly spaced in the sign. Determine the number of Tetra Power Strip modules required for one row and cut the wire. Peel off the backing to expose the adhesive tape. Evenly place the string of modules end-to-end -end along the guidelines at a rate of one module per 12 inches. Secure with at least one screw per module using number six or number eight screws or eighth inch rivets. Signs may have internal structures like support braces that can create shadowing in the sign. When you're determining your layout, be sure to position your modules away from these obstructions to avoid shadowing. You're now ready for electrical connections. Be sure to disconnect the power and refer to the 12 volt power supply installation instructions for loading and remote mounting information. Make sure you install all electrical connections in accordance with all local and national electric codes. Connect LED modules together by first connecting red stripe wires, positive to positive, then connect white wires, negative to negative. Mount the power supply inside the sign. Connect the first LED module on the strip. Connect the red stripe wire of the LED system to the red wire of the power supply, positive to positive using twist-on wire connectors or inline connections. Connect the white wire of the LED system to the black wire of the power supply. Cap all exposed wires with appropriate end caps. Now, connect the power supply to the main power source. Verify the power supply rating matches the power source input voltage. Connect the black AC line to the black input wire of the power supply. 
connect the white neutral line to the white wire of the power supply. That's how it's done. Now, power up and make sure all modules are lit. Also check to see if the LED modules are too close to interior structures that might cause shadowing and reposition your modules if necessary. Your Tetra Power Strip LED System Installation Guide has solutions for troubleshooting you can refer to. And you can always call GE Illumination for technical support at 1-888-MY-GE-LED or visit us on the web at www.lumination.com.